Welcome. We are going to see how to transform the way we delegate work and monitor it. How do you delegate work? We send mails or put a list of tasks in chat or as a part of meetings. Delegating work is easy, but monitoring it is difficult because you have multiple mails, multiple chats, multiple meetings. How do you know what you have delegated across all these? To solve that problem, we have developed a solution. It's completely free. Have a look at the system. If you like it, ask your IT team to install it for your company. The technical details and the link is given in the description. So let's see the process. To delegate work the right way, create a mail. Make sure your cursor is not in to or cc or subject. It's in body text where we actually type the contents of the mail. Then go to the insert menu and look for this icon called loop components. When you click on it, it will give you multiple options. What we are interested in is the task list. Click on it and you will get a nice table which allows you to specify tasks, assign it to one or more people and give them a deadline. So as an example, I'm going to delegate some work to boss. I'm going to say this is assistant to boss given using a mail. Right now the time is 7.45. I'm going to assign it by at the rate mentioning boss and we will select today's date. So I'm going to go to boss's mailbox now. Now so far boss has not received any mail because assistant has not sent it. But we don't have to go there. Tasks have to be managed in this app called to do. These tasks are personal tasks. Personal means the tasks which I have decided for myself. But there is another important category called assigned to me. So other people giving tasks to me will appear here. And you can see the task is already here. If you go to assistant's mailbox, this mail has not even been sent. So what do you do? Create a mail, save it and don't send it at all. This mail will go in drafts. Now there may be other mails in the draft folder. So what I've done is I have categorized this by creating a special category called task delegation with a color. I'm going to use this particular mail for all the tasks which I give to boss across time. Like that, you may have multiple people whom you interact with closely. Create one mail per person and job is done. In Teams chat, same loop component is available. Click on loop components, add a task list, give a task to each other and send it. If for whatever reason that person doesn't have a permission, it will ask you, do you want to grant access? It choose yes. And that's it. So let's go to assign to me area of boss and see what happens. Here it is, assistant to boss from team chat. And similar feature is available inside meetings as well. Once you join a meeting, just go to the notes area and you will have a section for task already added. Just click on add task. If required, give permission and give a due date. Now let's go to assign to me area for boss and you can see that the meeting task has also appeared here. So we just saw three methods of delegating work to each other, mails, chats, and meetings. How do I know which tasks I have assigned to others? Because they are still scattered across mails, chats, and meetings. To do that, you go to myapps.microsoft.com and log in. Scroll down, and if your IT team has installed the software we have created, it will be visible here as tasks by me. When you click there for the first time, it may ask you for permission. And once that is done, it is going to go through all your mails, chats, meetings and many other places and give you a single consolidated list of all the work you have assigned to others. It may take a little while to get the list of all the tasks. That gives you the entire list. In this case, 362 tasks is going to give you a breakdown of what is the status and by default it will be sorted in due date. This gives you how much delay it is. So first it will show you all the tasks which are overdue. Then at the bottom it will show you tasks which may be in progress or coming up soon. And at the bottom it will show you tasks which don't have a deadline. When the tasks appear in assigned to me area, the person concerned will get relevant reminders automatically. So you don't have to waste energy reminding people to do their work. You can change the sorting order. You can search for a specific task or you can also filter on different status level. All these tasks or loop components do have a name. So if you know the name of the plan, you can directly go there and filter based on that. 
Now, if you want to change something in a task, click on this link. It will open the task and you can edit any of these parameters. So let's summarize what we have learned so far. There are multiple ways of delegating work, but the common thing is to use the loop component task list. And once you do that, using the tasks by me app, you will get a single list of all the work you have delegated to others. Please show this to your team, your departmental head, all your bosses, so that they can request the IT team to implement this across the organization. When everyone in the organization starts using this, all the work is executed more efficiently and faster. I work with customers globally to improve their efficiency using Microsoft Platform and Copilot. If you would like me to work with your organization, my contact details are in the description. So that's it for now. See you soon with another video to improve your efficiency. Thank you.